All right, what's going on, guys? Happy Saturday to you. Got ourselves a nice little slate of NBA action. So let's go ahead and begin, starting with the Miami Heat taking on the Bucks. 5 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Milwaukee. The Bucks are minus 10.5, total 223 and a hook. We saw a one-point move toward Milwaukee and movement downward on the total. The Bucks open 9.5, up to 10.5. Total open 226.5, down to 223 and a hook. 62% of the consensus are leaning toward Milwaukee, 51% shaded toward the over. Right now, Miami's plus 490 on the money line. Now, Miami is a little bit banged up here. Udonis Haslam is out for tonight's action. Uh, Jimmy Butler and Dion Waiters are both out as well. Uh, Miami has failed to cover in six out of their last nine head-to-head -head matchups with Milwaukee. Now, the Bucks on the other side, they are 1-0 straight up on the year, 1-0 against the number. A nice 117-111 to 111 come from behind win taking on Houston. They were led by Giannis Anatokounmpo, who had 30 points and 13 rebounds. Ursan Ilyasova also brought down 11 boards in that game. And when it comes to the total, Milwaukee is 5-0 to the under in their last five, taking on Miami. I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, and take Milwaukee minus 10 in the under 223.5 in that game. Next matchup, Sixers, Pistons, 7 o'clock Detroit. The Sixers are minus four and a half, total 216 and a hook. Now we did see a one-point fade of Philadelphia and movement downward on the total. The Sixers open five and a half, down to four and a half, total open 220 and a hook, down to 216 and a half. 83% are leaning Philadelphia, 84% shaded toward the over. Right now, Detroit is plus 170 on the money line. Detroit has also dropped seven out of their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Philly. They failed to cover in seven out of those 10 ball games. Uh, Blake Griffin currently out indefinitely with a hammy. Also, Reggie Jackson is questionable with a back injury for the Pistons. Now, Detroit lost to Atlanta 117 to 110 in their last game. Now, Philly on the other side, they beat Boston in their season opener. Pretty convincing victory. They won 107 to 93 in that matchup. They're 1 0 straight up on the year, 1 0 against the number. They were led by Ben Simmons, who had 24 points and 8 rebounds. They were also led by Al Horford, who dropped 16 points, and Tobias Harris, who had 15 rebounds in that opener. Philadelphia is 7 1 against the spread in their last eight in Detroit. Now, total wise, Philly is 6 and 40 the under in their last 10, taking on the Pistons. I'm going to buy the hook, slide it down, and take Philadelphia minus 4 in the under 216 and a half in that game. Next matchup, Celtics, Knicks, 730 Madison Square Garden. The Celtics are minus five and a half, total 215 and a hook. We saw a one point move toward Boston and movement upward on the total. The Celtics open four and a half, up to five and a half, total open 215, up to 215 and a hook. 68% are leaning Boston, 69% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Knicks are plus 215 on the money line. New York's also 2 0 against the number for the year. They have successful covers over Brooklyn and the Spurs. They're led by Julius Randle, who has 19.5 points per game on average, uh, 11 boards as well. Uh, they're also led by Marcus Morris, who's dropping 18.5 points per contest on average as well. And they are led by Mitchell Robinson, who's bringing down seven rebounds a game. Now, Boston on the other side, a little bit banged up. Uh, Ennis Cantor is out for tonight's action. Uh, we also have Romeo Langford listed as questionable with a knee. And Taco Fall listed as questionable uh, in concussion protocol. Now, uh, Boston is uh, just 1-5 against the spread in their last six games dating back the last season. They've also failed to cover in five out of their last six games, taking on the Eastern Conference. Now, total-wise, Boston is 60% to the under in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with the Knicks. I'm going to buy the hook, buy it up, and take the Knicks plus six at home and the under 215.5 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Saturday's NBA action. But before we go ahead and move on, just got to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. We do daily plays on that website. We have a bunch of different membership uh, tiers and packages that you can subscribe to beginning at just $1.99 per month. You can also access my current record right on the website. There is a tutorial video where it teaches you how to just sign up. Simple as that. So anyway, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link for that site 
is in the description section below. All right, let's go ahead and dive back into some more lines and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Magic taking on the Hawks. 7.30 Atlanta. The Magic are minus 2.5 on the road, total 217 and a hook. We did see a flip of the lines in this one as Orlando opened up as the one-point dog. Once again, the Magic open plus one, now minus 2.5. Total open uh, 218, down to 217 and a hook. 61% are leaning Atlanta, 60% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Hawks are plus 120 on the money line. Atlanta's 1-0 straight up on the year, 1-0 against the spread, 117 to 110 victory over Detroit in their opener. They were led by Trey Young with 38 points and nine assists. They were also led by Jabari Parker with 18 points and John Collins, who brought down 10 boards. Atlanta's nine and three against the spread in their last dozen ball games, taking on the Eastern Conference. They're also five and one ATS in their last six games played on a Saturday. If you're into historical trends. Now, on the other side, Orlando failed to cover in their first game of the year. Uh, they failed to cover a nine-and-a-half-point spread against Cleveland. They're also 5-15 and 15 straight up in their last 20 in Atlanta. Once again, if you're into historical trends. Now, total-wise, both teams 1-0 and to the under on the year. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take Atlanta plus three at home in the under 217-and-a-half in that game. Next matchup, Pelicans taking on the Rockets, 8 o'clock Houston. The Rockets are 10 and a half, total 238. Saw so a half a point move toward Houston and movement upward on the total. Houston open 10, up to minus 10 and a half. Total open 237, up to 238. The Pelicans uh, scored 116 and 122 points, respectively, in their first two games. They're led by Brandon Ingram, who's averaging 23 and a half points per contest and six and a half rebounds. They're also led by Josh Hart out of Villanova, 15 and a half points per game, nine and a half rebounds per contest as well. Uh, the Pelicans are also led by Drew Holiday, who has seven assists on average per game. Now, Houston on the other side uh, suffered a debilitating 117 to 111 loss to Milwaukee, uh, had multiple leads in that game, multiple double digit leads in that game. Uh, the row and one straight up on the year, 0 and 1 against the spread. And when it comes to the total, the Pels are 2 and 0 to the over on the other side. I'm going to buy the hook, slide it up, and take the Pelicans plus 11 in the over 238 in that game. Next matchup, uh, Raptors taking on the Bulls. That's going to be an 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Chicago. Toronto's 3.5, total 220. Half a point move toward Toronto, movement downward on the total. The Raptors open 3, up to 3.5. Total open 221, down to 220. Right now, Chicago is plus 130 on the money line. Toronto is 1-0 against the spread as the favorite this year. Their offense is averaging 118 points per contest. Uh, Pascal Siakam is leading the charge with 33.5 points per contest and 13 rebounds. Kyle Lowry's right behind him with 25.5 points per game and 6.5 assists. And Freddie Van Fleet is right behind Kyle Lowry with 21 points per contest and 6.5 assists per game. Now, total-wise, Toronto is 2-0 to the over for the year. I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, and take Toronto minus 3 in the over 220 in that game. Next matchup, Pacers taking on the Cavaliers, and that's going to be an 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Cleveland. The Pacers are minus 5, total 213 and a half, so a half a point move toward Indiana, moving upward on the total. The Pacers open 4 and a half, up to minus 5, total open 213, up to 213 and a hook. 70% are leaning Pacers, 51% shaded toward the over. Right now, Cleveland is plus $1.80 on the money line. We have John Henson listed as questionable with a groin injury for Cleveland. They're also 0-1 straight up on the year, 0-1 against the number. They suffered a 94-85 loss to Orlando in the opener. They've also failed to cover in seven out of their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Indiana. They're 1-5 against the spread in their last six at home, hosting Indiana as well. Now, speaking of the Pacers, they are 11-5 straight up in their last 16, taking on the Central Division. They're led by uh, Sabonis with 27 points in the opener, 13 rebounds. They're also led by Miles Turner with 25 points and 9 rebounds in that opener as well. And Malcolm Brogdon, who scored 22 points and 11 assists. Now, total-wise, Indiana 60% to the under in their last 10, taking on Cleveland. Give me the Pacers, minus 5, in the under 213.5 in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be Wizards-Spurs. 
8.30 Eastern tip-off in San Antonio. The Spurs are minus 11.5, total 217 and a hook. So a half a point move towards San Antonio, movement downward on the total. The Spurs open 11, up to 11.5, total open 218, down to 217 and a hook. Right now, the uh, Washington Wizards are plus 700 on the money line. The Wizards are also 2-0 against the spread on the year. 2-0 ATS as the underdog. Successful covers over OKC and Dallas. They're being led by Bradley Beal, who's dropping 18 points per contest and 6 assists. They're also led by Thomas Bryant, who's scoring 17.5 points per game with 11 rebounds. Now, the Spurs on the other side, they failed to cover uh, an 11-point spread versus the Knicks. Uh, they actually only won by nine. So, once again, this is another double-digit spread they have to overcome. And notoriously, over the past couple of seasons, uh, San Antonio not good covering those double-digit uh, numbers. Now, total-wise, Washington is 2-0 to the under on the year. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take Washington plus 12 in the under 217.5 in that game. Next matchup, Kings, Jazz, 9 o'clock Utah. The Jazz are 9.5, total 221. So a half a point move toward Utah and movement downward on the total. The uh, Jazz open minus 9, up to 9.5. Total open 221.5, down to 221. The Kings are plus 390 on the money line. They're also 0-2 straight up on the year. Their defense is allowing 123 points per contest on average. Meanwhile, Utah on the other side, they're led by Donovan Mitchell, uh, who scored 28 points per, I'm um, sorry, he's averaging 28 points per game and 8.5 and rebounds. They're also led by Rudy Gobert, who's uh, bringing down 11.5 rebounds per game as well. Now, total-wise, Utah is 2-0 to the under for the year, and their defense is allowing just 95 points per contest. I'm going to purchase the hook, buy it down, and take Utah minus 9 in the under 221 in that game. And we're going to slide into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Clippers at the Suns, 10 o'clock Phoenix. The Clippers are minus 9, total 226. We saw half a point fade of the Clippers and moving downward on the total. Los Angeles open 9.5, down to minus 9. Total open 229, down to 226. Right now, Phoenix is plus 390 on the money line. Uh, the Clippers, 2-0 straight up on the year, 2-0 against the spread. They're led by Kawhi Leonard, who's dropping 25.5 points per game, 7 assists. They're also led by Lou Williams, who's dropping 21.5 points per contest, 7.5 assists. And they're led by Patrick Beverly, who's bringing down seven rebounds per game. Now, total-wise, Phoenix is 2-0 to the under on the year. Their defense is actually allowing just 102 points per contest. I'm going to lean LA Clippers minus nine in the under 226 in that game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. We do daily premium selections on that website beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. You can also access my current record for free right on the home page. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link for that site is in the description section below. But most importantly, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Saturday to you. Best of luck to you. And don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.